Hey everybody, how you doing? It's the end of the day, and I was just looking at um, the news on uh, YouTube about um, public assistance and stuff like that, and I was trying to figure out this budget, uh, um, the, the like far as as the county. Um, um, my thing is, uh, my family, uh, we 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 get involved with like. A lot of charity. We get involved with a lot of charity, food pantries, feeding people, feeding families, and stuff like that. We was brought up that way. Okay. Um, I was trying to figure out the budget for um, the county that we lived in uh, per family. Like how you got to figure out like per household, how many uh, households that signs up for the benefits. And per household, like a household of um, like one to two, like a household of one can can um, probably survive off of two hundred dollars a month of uh, food stamps. Single, a single home. Then uh, you got uh, a family of three and four can survive off of. Um, like three three seventy two a month. Um a family of five and six um can survive off uh between uh five hundred a month in food stamps. Five hundred a month between five and six uh members of household. Uh five hundred a month in stamps. Okay. Um that's the highest I would go as far as, as donating to a community social services of uh, benefits for uh, uh, families, you know, getting the card and um, going to um, social services and asking how can I set up a um, a benefit for um, people to, you know, households, adopting households for food assistance. And um, I, I was trying to ask the people in Georgia, you know, these, it was like, I, I met the, I met the president of, um, well, he wasn't the president. He was one of the owners of Chick-fil-A. I met uh, Coca-Cola, the guy, uh, Coca-Cola guy. I met uh, Frito-Lay, the president of Frito-Lay. I met uh, the Pepsi uh, family, one of the Pepsi family. I met, um, uh, what's the, uh, I think Disney, Walt Disney, um, well, one of the workers of Walt Disney, I met them, and, um, I met a couple of people, <laughs> you know, and, uh, I met Vince, um, what's his name, Tony Braxton's Tara, Tamara, her husband, I met her husband. I said, because we was at a gas station. I said, ain't you um, Tony Braxton's brother-in-law? <laughs> so he was a producer. And um, I met, um, it was another guy. He was a pastor of um, Faith something. Um, let me see. Uh, no, he wasn't, he wasn't part of the Potter House. I met a lady that was from the Potter's House. I met her. Uh, she introduced me. Uh, she actually told me where to go for the Potter's House. They had opened up another church in, in Georgia. Uh, the, it's called the Potter's House. And then um, um, I met the I met the manager or supervisor or somebody uh, of the um, Salvation Army. Uh, I met her. Um, you know, just discussing. Just discussing the things that I'm concerned about, and I told him I was a songwriter, and as far as as writing songs and uh, donating the money to us, I've done it plenty of times before, so it wasn't a problem for me to do it. Um, I just called on some of the um, the artists and some of the churches to um, put songs together, and you know, and um, donate. Uh, uh, start a food pantry, you know. Uh, Lives God's Gift is my LLC, um, my nonprofit organization um, that I'm trying to get going again. Um, I it is copyrighted, just in case everybody don't know. 
um, Live God's Gift. I just took um, Sky Dream Lyrics production and underscore Live God's Gift is in the ribbon of my doves. And that's the organization that I started uh, years ago in um, 2006, actually. And I started through uh, Love a Child, donating um, for the school funding for some children to go to school and eat. So I started that, me and my daughter, and we we continued on through the years. And then um, we also, through uh, Sky Dream Lyrics and um, Live God's Gift, uh, we donated um, some, you know, poems and stuff through the ministry of Always Sisters. And we've done that for years. Um, now, I don't know anything about the other foundations that my family is dealing with or whatever. But um, those are the ones that I, me and my daughter um, participated in. Um, Love a Child and ABC Babies, where that babies are um, uh, taken to the, um, the orphanage and being taken care of. They get washed and stuff like that. Sometimes their mothers and fathers are dead. You know, they die and um, a social worker will bring, come and have to rescue the babies and bring them to the orphanage. So uh, we dedicated um, giving each month, make sure the babies have their um, vitamin shots and vitamins and, and clothing and food, uh, supporting whatever the nursery needs for the babies, like diapers or whatever, you know. And then um, the school... Um, the elementary school, um, making sure the kids have clothes, barrettes, um, making sure their hair is done, making sure they have shoes, making sure they have books, making sure they have book bags, you know. So we, we kind of like like those things for them to have and stuff like that. We was doing it up here, too. Uh, when my daughter was in school, we would, um, we would donate to the book funding uh, to the schools, um, people who have... Um, you know, when the school get low on books, uh, they develop a book funding charity, and um, we we donate to that to make sure the it's called school supplies, stuff like that. So uh, we would donate to that, uh, donate money or participate in. I would participate in the sales of you know buying stuff. So we we do that here, and then we would do it in Haiti and uh, Africa, and um, I think, um, I don't know where, uh, Florida, is Florida, Florida or something? No, I don't know if it's in Florida, but I know some of it is out of Florida and then go to Haiti, you know, so, um, so the benefits of making sure children eat, uh, part of the ministry and stuff like that, uh, it's called rescue something. Uh, okay. But anyway, this is what we've been doing for years. Um, when I got down to Atlanta, I continued it on, um, the Potter's House. I think the Potter's House, um, yeah, uh, the Potter's House, because I think they started their youth ministry, um, so I was send uh, a tribute to their youth ministry, supporting their youth ministry, and, um, supporting, um, still supporting Miss Cece's, um, Always Sisters, and, you know, uh, T.D. Jakes, and, you know, so, um, but I had called to make sure that, um, uh, these things get, uh, deducted from my, my pay, you know, the amount each month, and I don't know what they did, though. <laughs> I don't know if I got credited for it or not. I don't know. So, uh, I did make arrangements, but for some reason, I don't even know. I did make arrangements. Uh, I called the uh, Love a Child uh, organization, and I gave them a debit card. And for some reason, um, they was taking it out because I was checking the card. And um, then I called for Potter's House, and then I called for, uh, well, all, not always, sister, because... Um, Always, since I just automatically just send it through postal, you know, next day delivery, uh, next day delivery. Um, yeah, next day delivery. So, uh, I just automatically mail it overnight. 
uh, in an envelope, um, you know, a postal um, envelope, postal, um, U.S. Postal, yeah, U.S. Postal, not U.P.S., U.S. Postal, um, um, so I normally do that every year, but I wanted to do it, I wanted to do more, because I was trying to uh, create some, I was trying to create some t-shirts, so I can go out here and, and do the sales for through the whole winter, and I, for some reason, um, I couldn't, I couldn't get out, um, I really couldn't get out, I really couldn't, um, my finances, everybody was messing with my phone finances, so I didn't know, I didn't understand about the finances, uh, I went to the office and tried to get, um, the people to correct the payments and stuff like that, and they didn't, um, I had, um, you know, but I never, I never got the receipts, never got any receipts to say that the reason why my money was taken out because of this and that and this and that, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Potter's House never sent a receipt to me, uh, Always Sisters never sent a receipt to me, Trinity never sent a receipt, they sent one receipt, and that was it, but I've been dealing with that since like 2013 so i i just never got receipts you know what i'm saying but they know i'm an llc sky dream lyrics production because i wrote my name and i told i asked them to, to i asked them to uh pray for me so i when i when i gave the donation i gave the donation in my llc's name and my name underneath of it you know so so evidently so i don't know if they took over the LLC. I guess they're trying to say that I sold the LLC, but I didn't, you know. So I don't know. Uh, but uh, I did let Miss Cece know and and that I was going to continue to help her, you know, with the, uh, whatever, you know. So, um, uh, man, um, I'm looking at the uh, thing and uh, I'm just not getting any type of progress report. No type of budgeting report. No type of nothing. So hopefully and apparently y'all understand that it's not me. Uh, if y'all are getting any type of bad report that this Sky Dream Lyrics. I am really an honest person. I really see things through. And for, for someone to maybe it's something going on on their end. That, so hopefully and apparently... The community is not looking at me like that way or, you know. So I'm really, I do care about people eating. I do care about, I, me and my daughter has been doing this so long, ever since she was a little girl. So I've been giving, uh, paying faithfully my tithes and offerings in the church for many of years since she was a little girl. And, you know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully and apparently uh, it'll, it'll do right. If not, then. All I could ask y'all to do is forgive them. You know, I have already forgiven them. Uh, I just ask that y'all forgive them and um, let's move on. Um, making kingdom great. That's that's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? So, But I was just watching the news and stuff about um, poverty and neighborhoods and stuff like that. But me and my daughter, we really do care about people and... But we just don't want to be taken advantage of and stuff like that. Okay? All right. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.